Our approach differs in that we've really gone back to the core science. It's a very robust scientific body of research that really has never been commercialized in, in its purity. I'm Patrick Johnson. I'm the President and CEO of Biophotos Incorporated. Biophotos is a medical device company based here in Orange County and we specialize in the development and manufacture of biophotonic based products, a, a form of light therapy. What's unique about Biophotos is that we're focused on developing innovative products for both wellness and medical professionals as well as consumers. For the last five years we have been developing the Saluma, our flagship product uh, based upon LED technology developed by NASA. Uh, the Saluma is designed to treat a variety of conditions uh, that affect a person's skin, muscles, and joints. Biophotonics is actually um, an area of science that can be utilized by wellness and medical practitioners, whether they be estheticians, dermatologists, plastic surgeons, or physical therapists, chiropractors, or orthopedic surgeons. Uh, essentially, biophotonics is using light energy emitted at the surface of the skin to upregulate cellular activity that's been adversely impacted by aging, illness, disease, trauma, or just bad behavioral habits. Fundamentally, the body is a biochemical machine capable of producing energy itself to drive cellular activity. But when that process becomes compromised, the body is also able to absorb light energy admitted at the surface of the skin and utilize that energy to drive otherwise compromised cellular activity. Saluma is currently a FDA registered class 1 device uh, intended to manage various skin and muscle and joint conditions. Uh, we believe that we are in the final stages of FDA clearance as a class 2 device where we will be treating dermatological and muscular skeletal conditions including acne, fine lines and wrinkles, skin spots, muscle spasm, inflammation, and aches and pains associated with arthritis. The Saluma essentially has three programs that are blue, red, and infrared dominant depending upon the desired depth of penetration of the light energy and accordingly the area of the body and the condition that's being managed. Um, all three wavelengths of light are present in all three programs, but again, depending upon whether or not you're wanting to address conditions at the surface of the skin, conditions directly below the surface of the skin, or as deep as 25 millimeters, below the surface of the skin in muscles and joints, that will determine what program you'll use and the dominance of light in that specific program. What distinguishes the Saluma from other light therapy devices on the market is that we're providing the right wavelength of light, the right intensity of light, and the correct application of light for the product to be effective in managing those conditions. Light is just an alternative form of energy for driving cellular activity. When the body, for whatever reason, isn't capable of producing its own energy at the cellular level, it is able to absorb light energy emitted at the surface of the skin. Cells are semiconducting and they're capable of communicating light energy from the surface of the skin to as much as 25 millimeters to below, depending upon the wavelength of the light. So we're essentially using the light energy to replace the energy that the body is not capable of, of generating itself.
NASA research and development in LED technology has clearly demonstrated this, that LED light therapy is safe, non-invasive, and easy to administer. Uh, several clinical trials have, have borne out the, the benefits of LED lights in managing acne, anti-aging, and aches and pains. Uh, LED light doesn't burn the skin, it doesn't cause damage, therefore there's no downtime after its use. When you look at the body of scientific research that surrounds biophotonics, there, there really are some key takeaways that not only do you have to have specific wavelengths of light energy, but that you have to have a specific amount of light energy and that that light energy to be effective has to be emitted near the surface of the skin. In designing the Saluma, we took all of these elements into consideration and really created a unique device that has the right wavelengths of light, produces the right amount of energy, and conforms to the area of the body of application. So it's really a unique device in that it has everything the scientific research says is required to be an effective device. Well, it's really twofold. Um, first, wellness and medical professionals can add the Saluma as a alternative or adjunctive modality to their practice, thereby increasing revenue and profit in the practice without any real increase in overhead or labor costs because of the ease of administration. As long as a practitioner has unutilized office space, they can actually incorporate the Saluma into their practice relatively easily. In addition to that, for their patients or clients who experience light therapy and the Saluma in their practice and would like to add use at home, uh, practitioners are able to sell the device to their patients to be able to provide that convenience. Again, adding to the revenue of profitability of their practice without any added overhead cost or labor cost and really differentiating themselves as a practitioner. It is. We've actually just launched the device this month. Um, we're in stock and it's available on our website or from medical professionals who are utilizing it in their practice and, and selling it. You can get more information about Biophotos, the Saluma, or the science of biophotonics by visiting our website at www.biophotos.com.